Hello, hello, everybody. Kian here, and we are doing an envelope. Da -da we have here a little envelope. It measures, let's see, seven and a half by four. It's a seven and a half by four envelope. And what are we going to do with it today? I'm going to turn it into a tag. <laughs> It's going to be an envelope tag, and I have these scraps, they're Stamperia, this beautiful, beautiful Stamperia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out my pieces first, and then I'm going to cut my envelope, and you'll see why when I do it. So I'm thinking I really like this little butterfly, and he can be on there sideways. Let's measure it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll put it here. And I'm just going to cut it, you know, smaller than the size of the envelope. We went really crazy on the marking there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, wow, is that really even our mark? It is. Okay, so there's that one. And we'll need two of those. So I'll put that one for the back. And then this one, I like that it's a smile, breathe, and go slowly. I think, oh, it's just too short huh, to fit that. I'm very sad about that. We have this one. Oh, it's too narrow. Right, and then we have this one. That one's a little too wide. We could do it from this side. We could get this, and we would lose it, wouldn't we? We could do it here, and then we won't lose any of our words, and we can use our words later. So I'm just going to mark out this envelope shape roughly. <laughs> okay, so that should, that should be good. We might need one more piece. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it out smaller than our mark. Right now, I'm going to see it, make sure that this fits. What, what do we have? Oh, yes, I definitely like this side better. Right, and I may need to cut the top off a little bit along the top. Just going to cut a sliver. Off our top. And I'm going to use Vintage photo today. Okay, awesome. Right, and it's not the most even along the top, but that's okay. I can, like, fix it up a little bit. Of course, it would be best to use the cutter, but I don't want to get the cutter out right now. Okay, so there's this piece. The next piece, okay, is this piece. Well, I suppose I'm getting my cutter out anyway. Okay, hello giant cutter. <laughs> Let me get a straight edge on you first. Cut it smaller than our mark. I'm going to line it up like that. That will ensure we have two, theoretically, it will ensure we have two identical pieces. Again, <laughs> theoretically. All right. So we have these two pieces, right? This one is going to go on the front of our envelope like that. And how is it? Mine needs to be trimmed a little bit lengthwise, like this. Okay. So this should fit our envelope now. Nice and lovely. Perfect. And this one should fit the back. Oh, 
Awesome. Okay, so before we cut our envelope or anything, I'm going to mark this so that we can... Just going to slide this in here. Just all the way down. And then I'm going to mark on the paper. And then again, I'm going to cut it smaller than my mark. And I'll probably have to go in and cut along the bottom a little bit. Which is usually the case, so that it fits good. Yep. Again, I'm just going to do it by hand. I'm just going to cut a sliver. Oh my goodness, it's raining. Can you believe it? It's raining. It's so exciting. It's super late here, though. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and it just started raining. Suddenly, it just started raining, and the wind started going. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I think I'll glue down those little pieces. There we go, so they don't keep sticking up on me. Okay, so we have this piece, it fits. We need a piece to go in our envelope like this, and I'm just going to cut it lengthwise to match this one, or, you know, yeah, lengthwise. That's a pretty rose uh, pattern on the back, like rose. It's very pretty, but we're using this one because it's fancy. Okay, so this should fit in here nice, and this will get glued back here, and I'll probably glue that one now. This one will get glued here. So we just need a piece for here. Um, this is our piece for the front. Let's see, what is this? This is just barely too, right? It's not wide enough. What about this piece? Would this piece work? Would it work or would it not? I hate to lose any of the text. Oh, look at this. I think we might be able to get that art is a lie that tells the truth. Just kind of line it up here like this. And I'll mark it. Oh, we're going to lose that. Well, let me remark it. Let me erase my marks. Okay, we can leave this mark. Okay, so I want this thinking about like that. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> as good as we're going to get if I can salvage as much as I can salvage. Okay, so this is the part we're going to cut. Not bad, not bad. I'm not unhappy, right? We've got this one, we've got this one. Looks like this one is um, mostly cut off, but that's okay. All right, now I'm just going to cut a little bit off our bottom. Lovely little pieces. Okay, so now this one, oh, it's going to be upside down. Oh, no, it's not going to be upside down. It will fit. Look at that. It is way too, oh, yeah, because we need to cut. <laughs> um, like, I'm going to trim the bottom when it just needs to be cut on my mark.
there. Hopefully I didn't cut too much. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to glue this one on. Right, and I'll glue it, I'll ink it after because we're going to cut it and everything anyway. And this one is going right up to the edge of the top. We have a fold in our paper because it's a piece of scrap paper, but that's okay. Once it's glued down and pressed, it will be good. And I love that we got that saying in here on the inside of the envelope and this one too. Okay, I'm going to glue this one down as well right now. This one goes on the inside. Ta-da! Like that. Oh, I love that. That's so lovely. All right, now I'm going to cut my envelope. Okay, so we're going to make a tag. And it's going to be like an envelope tag. So I think I want to have it flip out like this, right, for our envelope. So I'm going to cut the tag at, the, at this top, at this side, instead of on this bottom side. Just cut the tag whatever side, depending on which way, right? Because if we do it this side, then it'll flip open this way. So I'm going to do it this way, though. And I'm just going to, and I'm going to close the flap, and I'm going to cut it with the flap closed, right? So I'm just going to... I'm going to kind of guess and estimate like what angle I want my tag at, right? No, like pre-measuring or anything, but that looks good to me. That looks like a good little angle. <laughs> so you have this one like this, and I'm going to flip it over like that. And then I'm going to cut the flap as well. Like that. So we still have our flap. Ta-da, it opens like that. Right, and then the one thing that I do want to do is go through and glue these. So I'm going to glue. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Glue that down. Open the side if I can. <laughs> this flap wants to open. Come on. Open, open would help if I just stuck my hand in the envelope. <laughs> just going to put a little tiny bit of glue in there. And then I'm just going to seal it. Dum -dum. So there we go. There is our tag glued, ready to go. Now we just need to cover it and I'm going to ink it. So I'm going to use vintage photo today. Let's get a little bit of a spritz. Grab my dauber. All right. Just going to go around. Just go around real quick. So yeah, I couldn't believe it. It was a beautiful evening. And then all of a sudden, the wind started howling. And uh, it just started raining. I don't know. <laughs> and the wind and the rain. And, and then after a little while, after about a half an hour of it, I thought, gee, because it was really, you know, beating on the house and all the stuff. I thought, well, I'm going to open the door. I'm going to look outside. So I'm going to trim that. And I think I'm going to put some washi tape down because I feel like this fold is going to give on me. It's just going to rip. Probably because of all that ink. But so anyway, so I opened the door, my back door, to look at the rain, you know. And it was just kind of windy. And you know, always, it, the wind always sounds worse, right, when you're inside somewhere than it actually is, than like when you're actually outside. So I, yeah, so I looked outside and it was actually just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. The wind was causing the rain to become like a mist. I don't know. So I'm not going to ink this because it's going to go... 
I'm going to put um, a washi tape on there to keep it sturdy. Kind of just lifting this up to ink it. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Now we just need to attach our pieces. So this is one for sure. And if you notice, we're going to need to cut our corners. And that's fine. I wanted That's why I wanted to measure this all out beforehand, because it's hard to stick this in. Right, we can't stick that in once it's been glued, but it's easy to just come in and cut the corners. We just kind of place it where we want to place it. Get a good idea. I'm going to cut it here and here. From here to there, try to kind of keep a little bit of a border. And then just cut my marks off from this mark to that mark. And it should. Look at that. It looks great. I'm so happy with it. <laughs> oh, and it was easy. We didn't have to like throw anything away or do it a million times. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to ink the edges of this real quick. And my poor Holly girl has gone into a heat, the poor girl. She's all upset about it. And I'm thinking she might have, she might have gained enough weight now. We might be able to go get her fixed. She's got a, a problem where she's not able to digest her food properly. So she has to have like special enzymes and stuff. But we were finally found the right stuff to give her. And she's actually gaining a good amount of weight. Good enough, I think, that we might be able to get her fixed. And that would really help because she's going nuts. She's not happy. <laughs> she keeps digging all around the house looking for somewhere to uh, to nest, the poor girl. Okay, now let's see. Uh, oh, I got new washi tape. But I think the washi tape I got, because you know, who doesn't need more washi tape? Like, I don't have enough washi tape. Um, but the washi tape I got is really wide. I got these. I actually did an, or made an order from Temu. And so that's what these are. This one, they're way too wide. And so let's go with a pretty floral. What about this one? This one kind of matches. It's on the top. It's convenient. I use this washi tape all the time, this pattern. It's a good washi tape. Okay, so measure it from here. From here to here. Okay, I'm going to glue this side of the flap first, the top side. And try not to color, cover up the truth, right? Who wants, you don't want to cover up the truth. That's not a good thing. <laughs> oh. Sounds like a good movie, though. <laughs> right, to cover the truth or something, some kind of action movie or something. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Just going to kind of trim. Yay, look at that. I did good. Just trimmed off that washi tape. Press it down. That will make me definitely feel better about my flap. Look, I don't have to worry. I could have put it on the outside too, but I put it on the inside. Then I don't have to worry about my flap breaking off. So let's see, where is the piece we made for this piece? This one, right? And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to trim it here and here. This one is a little folded too. Just a little bit of ink. Okay. Glue it down. It's kind of a simple project today. I kind of like really liked this idea. The idea of making a tag 
out of an envelope and still having it be a functional envelope. Right, it is definitely still a functioning envelope. We've lost a little bit of room, you know, up here because, you know, but it's still functioning. It's very cool. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Okay, now the front, right? So we want our butterfly. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to mark where I want to trim my edges. And then I'm going to ink it. With the lovely new dauber that Natalie sent me. <laughs> Which, oh, thank you again. It's like, look at how smooth it glides across the paper. <laughs> oh, that's pretty too. But I really do like the butterfly. All right, here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Try to get it on here even. If I can. If not, it's okay. That looks good. It's got that, it's kind of got a, like a vintagey look to it, doesn't it? Okay, so now I want to put things on our tech. So I've got, oh, so I pulled this out. I've got this frame. I'm thinking, put it like in this corner. And I have this mushroom. Put the mushroom, put the mushroom up here in the frame like that. Does that mess up our the like dimensions of our, I feel like whenever I do something up here, it can really make the, it can make it look uneven as like an optical illusion I've noticed. What about like on this side? In front of the text. I think so. Let's do it. I'm going to ink this mushroom, this little mushroom die cut. I got, I think it's Paper Studios, I think from Michael's Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. My sister got me out of a pack of ephemera. Oh my gosh, things are flying everywhere. So there's that one, and then we're gonna put the frame here. So I'm gonna cut it there, and then just right here at the corner. And then we have more frame we can use for another project. Okay, so just in the corner like that. Okay. Lovely. I love that we kept that little flower there too. I do love that. Okay, I like it. I like it so far. We have a pretty mushroom now. Now what else? Um, I'm thinking maybe some stuff, maybe a ticket or something. Let's see, what do I have? Tickets. What do I have? To, do I have any pretty ones? Dun, dun. I'm sure I do. I have this one. This is an Artie Mays one. from like, I think one of her blue butterfly kits. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna cut it in half. I've been doing the cut in half and putting things on the side of the page thing recently. <laughs> Just gonna ink it. Just a tad. Is that two? <laughs> There's two. Look at that. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna put up here. 
like that. This one Which is a different flower. <laughs> this one. It's gonna go. Is it? I might put it up. What if I put it up like this? I kind of like that. See, like that. It kind of squares it off. I really do. And then, let's see. What else? Let's do some Rick Rack. Rick Rack or some trim. I have some pretty trims in here. Let's see. I have this one. How, is, how would this look? Okay, blends in too much. Um, I wish I had to, I, where is the rest of my Rick Rack? Rick Rack, oh, here's my box of Rick Rack stuff. Got all these little linen boxes, you know, none of them are organized. Look at the, <laughs> everything just gets shoved in. Oh, we've got a gold Rick Rack. Let's see, we could add gold. It's a sticky Rick Rack, okay. Um, well, that's a maybe. I don't hate it, right? Um, I'm hoping to find a nice white. <laughs> a nice white Rick Rack. Let's see. What do we got? What is that? A pink one. I like the pink. Hmm. But you know, I mean, I'm easily impressed too. I like. <laughs> like, oh, that looks good. We'll just throw that on there. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking no on the gold. I like this trim. This might look nice. It is a little white. It's very stark white, so never mind. Never mind. What else do we have in the bottom of this thing? Let's see. Get to, we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Here's a blue. It kind of matches the other blue. Now the box is a real big mess. <laughs> okay, yes. This is the color. So I'm gonna cut a piece here. And a piece there. I'm gonna use my fabric tech. Maybe if it ever wants to work. Okay, where did the piece that I cut? <laughs> it's right in front of my face. <laughs> okay, up like this. Well, I cut it too short. Look at that. It's okay. I think I might put, I was thinking I might put a piece of lace down along the bottom anyway. Um, we can always do that. And it also doesn't look too bad that it's a little short. That's okay. Um, let's see. Put this one like this. I'm trying to think. I might put something else there. We could move this down and frame. Right, we could frame the tickets. I don't like it. No, never mind. So something needs to go here, around here somewhere. Let's see, I have a flower that doesn't look good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What is this? This is like a pretty tag. It's not good. 
Okay, so you know what I decided on, which is a little crazy. I mean, not really crazy, but kind of a little out of left field is this violin. I absolutely love it, and I think it looks really good on our page, like sitting on our frame like that. So I'm just going to glue it on there, and that'll give us something else we can stick our... Um, Rick rack, Rick rack. I kept wanting to say zip line. Like that is not <laughs> the word. <laughs> zip line. Oh, that's great. I love, I love the violin. All right. I think this is a violin. Is that a violin or a fiddle? What is the difference between a violin and a fiddle? So this one is going to go from here to the edge. And this time I'm going to cut it a little bit longer. Um, so that that way we don't, we're not short. I would rather trim some off. There we go, and we do. We need to trim off just a little tiny bit. Oh. These scissors are not great <laughs> for stuff like that. Okay. And I want to put one more piece of rickrack. I'm just trying to think of where I want to put it. From here to here, I'm thinking. This needs to get stuck back down because I don't want it to be right there. <laughs> From the top, then down. If I'm going to have any gap at all, I want it to be at the bottom. Okay, and then we want... Cool. Yes, from the frame up to the ticket. Ta-da! Lovely. Just gonna press that down, let it dry. So I love the addition of the Rick Rack. I have another thing that I want to use. I have these well, like words and stuff. And I'm hoping I can find one to put on our tag. They're all a little large though. Kind of like that one is small. Where would it go? Here? Might pick imagination, the one at the top. Let's see. We could put it sideways. I kind of like that. Okay, I'm gonna cut it like this, and I'm gonna cut it kind of, kind of uh, messy like that. Cut it kind of messy like that. Ta -da. Imagination. I'm hoping it fits as a fit there. Kind of covers our butterfly. We could put it there. I'm trying to figure out where we want our imagination to go. Perhaps right here, just in the very bottom middle of the. T I kind of really like that. That's that's kind of weird, but let's do it. And then we'll put a ribbon in our tag and we'll be done. Imagination. Right, that looks good. I like it. Okay, so let's put a mark in the middle of our...
right there. And then this time I'm definitely going to make sure my tab, my flap is open. Let me just punch right through. Uh, let's do pink. I have this little piece of pink ribbon lounging about. It looks like it was the end of the roll. It's pink. We have a little bit of pink in the... I'm wondering now if maybe we should go like a blue. I have this gorgeous. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Isn't this gorgeous? <laughs> you know what? Let's take some of this. Shall we taste take the end? Shall we try to rip a bit from here? I think let's try to take the end. Because of the way that it's threaded anyway, it should work for us real easy. Look at that. Pretty sorry silk. Okay, I'm just going to poke this through here. Right, and then trim off. Let's see. Like that. Ta da, we have our tag. So very cute, and I love the back. Look, you open it like this, and then you put stuff in it. <laughs> what shall we put in it? I have this order railway conductors we can put in there. Yeah, it goes down and barely fits. Barely fits. Let's see, what else do we have we can put in there? What is this? This is a pretty paper. This is like nautical. It's kind of like shell themed. We'll put one of those. Let's put a bird card. Let's put a bird card. Let's. What is this one? A acorn woodpecker. He's cool. So we'll put that in there too. Ta-da! And that will be our envelope tag you can stuff stuff into and stick in a pocket in a journal. I really love the way it came out. Just a cute little idea. Anyway, I had fun. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye!